He recruited him there, and, and when he came here, he needed another quarterback after losing Riley Ferguson, and he pulled the switch. The most explosive running back in college football this year is Daryl Henderson. He's brought down by Richie Grant. Power. He goes out for the pattern here. White goes underneath. This is Magnifico, the tight end, and leaping for the first down is the redshirt junior from Cordova, Tennessee. Looking at right here, pretty passive weather conditions here in Memphis today. And he will curve that one right down the middle. Memphis has the early lead in this American Conference matchup. You just finished a perfect season with Scott Frost, and you have a new head coach. We'll get into that here in just a moment. As now UCF breaking a big play here on the handoff, and a big opportunity down the field into Memphis territory goes Marlon Williams. And that gave Williams plenty of room to the edge. And lightning fast, UCF Milton. He'll fire it high, caught right around the marker. And that's Williams again with a terrific catch. And that should be another first down for the Knights. We're going really fast. McCray again. Pretty much the same play. And he busts this one inside the 10. And fighting for a couple additional yards. McCray with a big run. Taj McGowan comes in at the tailback spot. He'll get it. And he's in. Touchdown. They love to use McGowan in the red zone. So UCF avoiding the explosive Tony Pollard. And this paid off for the field position game. But Henderson can change field position very quickly. Look at him go here. Henderson has run all over the field. Now it's a foot race. And he'll take it out of bounds as he didn't have the numbers. And Brandon Moore chases him. What a spectacular run for Henderson. He's done. He does, and he gets the first down easily for Henderson. White under pressure. He's going to have to take off and see if he can add live this himself. He can maybe get to the end zone. He does. Touchdown, Tigers. This offense. Well, he's had a nice job in these third and long situations. He's got another one here, and White on the run. Fires. It's right at the mark, and a first down and more. Pop Williams. Will take it into UCF territory at the 45-yard line, a gain of 13. Third and one or two, either. Henderson, look out here. Henderson, 10 yards and more. Henderson, that's a touchdown saving tackle. But one. They get it off just as the quarter was about to end. Henderson to the five. Touchdown, Tigers. running back in the country certainly at the moment opportunity here now for UCF and Killens look out here he's got great speed Killens will be chased out of bounds I think that was the kicker Riley Patterson who ran him out Let's... fakes to Killens Milton passes tipped deflected by Bryce Huff Memphis holds Oh, and they had uh, the receiver wide open. You got a lot of support from people around here. He's going to get some more support. He is two for two today. And Memphis extends their lead to 20 to 7. But a long way to go in this quarter. And they missed on a fourth down as well. Milton's going to keep it here. Was looking deep. Slings it underneath. Has his man. That's Davis. He could go. Davis. He will go. Knights 75 yards. Yeah. White throw right into the middle of the field. A good catch made there by Kadarian Jones. And Jones will move the chains. First down to the 36 yard line. White, and there's going to be a run pass option as he slings it down the field. The catch is made in a whole lot more for Coxie. 25. And down about the 22-yard line, DeMonte Coxey out of reserve, Louisiana. Preston Brady, the holder. And Patterson is 3-for-3. Three three. Memphis is 5-for-5 five five today when they've had the football and putting points on the board. Eight. That's insane. They're trying to add that right here. Plays off the block. There you see that burst. He'll end it all right. Henderson, 33-yard line, and a saving tackle. Shard Causey is unparalleled. 
Gonna get another crack at it. And here you saw a great example of what you were just talking about right there. Right? He's accelerated to the 19. It's Georgia State in the 174 against UConn. Now powered, and he breathes in. Touchdown, Tigers. They have scored on all five of their drives. Get it in there, but it's a tough call. Milton, he's got plenty of time. Now he escapes Wilson. Look out here, throws, and he has it. Mackenzie Milton makes it happen. The catch made by Otis Anderson on the 40-yard line. It's first down for UCF. To dial the play up and just throw it on the ground. Now they're going for it. They still have those timeouts. Milton. Oh, yes, he caught it. Dredrick Snelson's first catch of the day is a spectacular one. At the bit for a second shot at this. And he drilled it. Main Street. That's the end of the second quarter. The last time UCF trailed at halftime in a game, it was against Memphis in the American Championship game. And they trail by 13. Memphis will get the ball to start the third quarter. This you see here, I, they're going to tempo. Yep, yeah, let's see. Everybody bunched up, going for it in their own end zone territory. Look out. And they're going to get six if McGowan doesn't get caught from behind. He won't. Touchdown, UCF on fourth and two from there. Wow. To him. Just ran right into a curtain of white jerseys. So it's going to be third down and about eight to go. And the Knights came up with a football at the end of that. And they're still trying to score a touchdown. Yes, they, they actually are. ran to the end zone, <laughs> but they, that one was stopped, I'm fairly certain. The officials, though, however, are going to confab about it and maybe decide. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, UCF. But no. Yeah, that ball was out. There's no doubt. Now, Henderson's practically laying on it. He can't find it. That's why it took a while. And then underneath that pile, Clark, he, he sees it. No one else does. Who's and he goes and gets it. To one, four, five. Five minutes ago. Milton, a couple of fakes. Tight end action here, changing the strength. Ball's, Ball's on, on the ground. The rain has really taken this game over. UCF recovers the fumble, or so they say. A big pile up. They'll unpile it, but they did. Yes. I believe. There you are absolutely correct, sir. The uh, real intent on the handoffs. And the other ways you're moving the ball around and changing it, uh, possession. Well, that's a nice throw there from Milton coming back to the football with number 16, Trey Nixon. With three to snap, Milton gets it. Down the middle, caught his tight end, Gugliale, with a huge grab. Then he started moving outside where he is now at the bottom of the screen, and that made him change the play. Well, McCray's going to get a first down and a whole lot more here. Inside the 10, and a shoestring tackle by Josh Perry kept him out of the end zone. And they are going as fast as possible right now. They are in hypersonic speed with this offense. They set and snap it, bring in a drier football. That's the only thing that slowed him down. McCray, no, it's Milton. It's Milton. It is Milton. Did he make it over? Yes, he did. A two and a half game. For a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, TJ Carter with the assist on the flip. But we've been waiting and talking about Mackenzie Milton carrying the football. They saved the best for last. Obviously breaks the plane right there. And uh, had a nice little landing. Big of a deal. They're going to hand it off. They're not going to get the first down, but they're going to burn off plenty of time. It's four consecutive times here at home. And the large reason is the play of the quarterback. They what? need it again. Wobbler here, and they're going to get a first down, and the tackle is broken. Coxy, let's see where they mark him out of bounds. All the way past the 40 to the 46. Henderson could be an option out of the backfield as a receiver. He's in there next to White. He slips out. White. 
Got to do something. He'll throw it to the stick. It's going to be caught in the UCF territory. He goes Dykes, the tight end, to the 35-yard line. That will stop the clock. And that false start. Boy, they took too much time. They took too much time. Yeah, I, I can't believe false they didn't start. just go spike it. Offense, Offense. number 72. Five-yard penalty, first down. That was... The clock was running. This penalty includes a 10-second run. Yes, it does. Please reset the game clock to 20, or to 18 seconds. That is so damaging. The clock will start on my signal. It's getting time to throw it towards the edges and maybe get yourself out of bounds. Oh, there's no maybe about it. If you don't get a first down down the middle of the field, you're, you're in big trouble. White in, is in big trouble right now, trying to improvise. Throws on the run. A diving catch is made, but it is not out of bounds. That's it. To the 31-yard line. And that's it. That's the end of the game. UCF has won 19 straight games, and none more dramatic than this one. A heartbreaker for Brady White and company. They had it in position and couldn't get out of their own way in managing those last 30 seconds of this ballgame.